cursy Cause I wanna see what it would sound like, right? Can't tame, you can tell, but I tell that the dog, but the motherfucking beast on the scale Okay, so I finished with my doctor's appointment I got some blood work done and I got another COVID booster I didn't even know that was out yet I feel like I'm just collecting Pokemon at this point But I got another COVID booster Scheduled some appointments I feel like such a grown up just because I went to the doctor's office by myself. They were like, sign this, sign that. And I was just like, oh my God, I can sign my own consent forms right now, it's crazy. I'm on my way to the hair salon. There's always construction happening. Living in the city is kind of hard, but I'm going to get my hair done. And I'm gonna look like a new girl, like I'm excited for it. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Salamata. You're watching Salamata speaking. Yeah, I felt a little zwark. Um, I just got my hair done today. This is birthday slash vacay prep because we're going to DC on Friday, which is in two days. Have I packed? No. Have I finished unpacking from school? No. Have I cleaned up my room? No, but I gotta get it done. I'm gonna take a nap. It's like 3 p.m. I'm gonna eat, take a nap, and then wake up and see how I'm feeling, to be honest. And then we're gonna move on from there. But I just wanna show you guys my hair. The hassle of me getting my hair done was sad. I thought I was gonna make it happen, but mommy makes anything happen, to be honest. She just pulls through every single time. I'm really a mommy's girl. I'm really both. I'm just spoiled like okay guys let me show you something i love telling people like oh i've grown mushrooms before and not give them any context and they're like you've grown mushrooms before you do mushrooms and then i have to go like no it's mycelium like this is what it is and so let me show you guys what i ended up making i'm gonna throw this out i don't really know the implications of having it this long so explain it, it's a corset top, if you think, like, boobies go there. Um, and it was, like, paired with, like, pink ribbon and stuff. And it wasn't, like, finished when I needed to turn in my final project. And then I realized, like, I didn't think the crest was going to come out because um, I had done it inside out. Anyways, I did my fashion program and it's one of the coolest things I've ever fucking done. Um, I'm getting ready to throw it out now because there's no way like I can display I can display it, but like there's literally mushrooms on this. Like, look at this side. I don't know if you can see it. Do you see that? It's a whole mushroom. But I completely forgotten about it and it was in the dark, so it was still like growing. And then I put it in the sun in the window, so it's been baking for a few months. Um, and I think that's why it, like, stopped the process. But it's, like, this feels like paper! It's so strange how, like, different textures get on here. But, yeah, I always tell people I found mushrooms, and it's literally just this plaque of mycelium. Um... First of all, we missed our first bus, but don't worry, we got on the bus right after that, an hour later, and we just made it. We checked into the hotel, and we're watching Friends. I'm about to get on my pizza and go to sleep, y'all. It's lights out. Tomorrow I'm gonna film a makeup tutorial. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. So we're here at the stadium. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I just realized that I don't know anything about soccer. Like, like I feel like I did because I used to play FIFA and shit, and like I, I think I understood the rules and like penalties and shit. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know what teams. Anyway, we're 
we're getting a 641 later. 646. Yeah, give your number, they're gonna scam me. Go ahead, continue, continue. Uh, I don't even know his number, that's actually terrible. Y'all supposed to know my number, I'm your emergency contact. Who the fuck is you? Anyway. I'm really out here. Um, we got ice cream. It was good. I paid for it. Oh, don't worry. Oh, no bread. He's lying. He's lying. We are on our way. Yeah, we're going to Sensi. Yeah, we're going to Sensi. 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 Two said seafood boil. I've never been more excited. I just had fried fish and plantains. And it was so good. So good. What's up? I thought the fish, I thought the fish tastes like fried chicken. But it tasted like fish because it's fish. Guys, we're here. We're here. Wanna get fed? We're here. Shops around me, like I can, I can just walk around. Like, I haven't left my house in two days, but I'm just gonna go to the supermarket real quick because I'm going downtown to hang out with Ellie today. It's my birthday tomorrow. I'm geeked. I don't even want to say I'm geeked. I made it in one piece. Mm -hmm. and they looks good. Yeah. You look good. You look good. You look good. Marks. I'm definitely having a taco. I've been craving tacos like crazy lately. Like, I don't know what it is. Love this song. Stop. This is Talia. <laughs> I used to cry to this song. It's 11 11 and I just got home, so I'm gonna make a fish. Today's my fucking birthday, okay? It's probably like 12 or 1 or whatever, but I spent some time reading messages and I cried. Ali's message had me sobbing, like hysterically sobbing, and it's like. I don't know, it's so nice to like finally know that like you got friends that see you and like understand you and like you know, see the work that you're putting in and it's finally like I think this is the first year that I've recognized that like relationships take work. Like they take work and you can't just walk away from friendships because one thing about me, I'm like, I cut a bitch off. But like you can't just walk away from friendships and like you have to nurture them and take care of them. So that's what I saw today. And honestly I was watching the last episode of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, which has been my favorite show. I can't even say I've been watching it that long, but it's been my favorite show, and I can't believe like I finished it. Like I binged that shit in like a week or something, and it was like the first three seasons that I watched in a week. And anyway, I love that show. And the last scene in it, not to spoil it for anybody, but the last scene of it is Susie and Mitch just laughing. Like they're just on the phone watching the same show and just fucking laughing. And I just thought to myself, like, I've been thinking a lot about the fact that, like, there is a possibility that I end up alone and not, like, with a family or a husband. Like, that's a possibility in my life, and I need to, like, prepare for that future as well. It's so far ahead, like, I don't need to think about it, but I do, okay? But I'm always thinking, like, if I don't have that nuclear family that I'm going to build so badly, like, what will be the product of my life? And I think my friendships will be so clearly like the product of my life, like my legacy is like the impact that I've had on the people that I've loved. And that necessarily doesn't have to come in the form of like marriage or having children. Um, yeah, made me emotional, cried, finished the show, cried. Um, crying on your birthday actually hits different. It's so like cathartic, like, I don't know. I like wait for it all year. Can't wait, let's not talk about how my makeup is still on. I did my makeup around three. I'm lying. I did my makeup around like 4.30. It is now 12. I have cried, I have sweat, I have eaten. So it's still on. Here's how I remove my makeup. I go in with a moisturizer. Sometimes if I'm feeling like heavy duty, I'll do straight moisture, but because it's summertime and it's like hot outside, like the makeup, like, like my skin gets oily and it like it's enough to help also break down the makeup type shit. So I do that and then I go in with my Tim Mark and Lemon cleansing bar that I showed you guys in my makeup tutorial. And I just do that all over the skin first. I have my contacts in, so I'm gonna leave my face first. 
before I touch the eyes because I have an irritator and I get it infected. I don't know if that actually makes sense, but that's what I'm thinking. Okay. This dress looks so orange on camera, but it's like it's a pink. Like I don't know. What color has been throwing me off all day too? Like I could have sworn it was a pink dress and it's pink and like the light. But on camera it looks orange. I'm just like Okay, I don't know what in the color theory that is. We have reached the part of the night that I hate most. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take out my contacts. I still don't know the proper way to take out my contacts. Not to use your claws. Use your use 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 your claws. Use your claws. Yeah, not to mention the claws. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. Like, I don't think the eye doctor or like the consultant having you sit down and stare at yourself and you to put in contacts once and twice and take it out is enough for you to be qualified to wear contacts. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. This is my eye we're talking about. Like, I fucked this up and it's, it's <laughs> but I've done it after nights out. So I'm trying to get real confident one more time because this is crazy. I can't be doing this shit tomorrow, bro. Okay, let me just do it. Me realizing I have to actually have my eyes open if I can do this. Um. So the technique that I got with the with the nails is just fold it in your eye and it pop out. Look at it. One down, one more to go. I'm gonna be two for two. Don't even worry about me. Well, this one traveled. Nope, it's still in my eye. Hold on, y'all. Nope, that worked too. I don't even have to put my hands in my eyes. These are dailies, so in the trash they go. The second I have to start paying for my own like glasses and contacts, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. That's a budget I'm not trying to support. Like and I'm real grateful to be African because me being 18 has like changes nothing about my life, respectfully. It changes nothing. It doesn't change if I could have a curfew. It doesn't change if I could have some my parents want to go. It doesn't change shit. I'm just allowed to go places now. But I've already been in these spaces. Nobody thinks, nobody thought I was a minor. And I'm not a minor anymore, so. So, I want to go to Juma Prairie tomorrow. I think I already told you guys that I'm going. It's at like noon. It's not at noon, it's at one, but my brain I gotta fix at noon so I should go to sleep early so I can make it and wake up now my nails are crooked and I need to fix it so I need to find a metric card nobody wants to ask me for metric card anymore there's no extra metric cards just flying around that's crazy to me good morning sexy bots this is literally how I take the group chat like we are already becoming so tight yes I'm already missing two nails they just was crooked this makes me look extra gay they were just crooked and I'm gonna put them on. But I also have to make woo boo and I like I feel better about it touching like these two fingers. Whatever. It's like backwards and the Muslim justification at this rate. Like if I could I'd rip all the nails off and go make my wudu and go to Salah. Anyway. I just woke up, my mommy took my blood and I was just gonna say like I'm so grateful for this lady, cause who whose mom just knows how to take blood? I mean, granted, Shorty is a nurse, like she's certified. You know what I'm saying? Like she went to school for this shit. She's going to school for this shit. Like still going to school, like adding to her education. My mom is just that bitch. Like I'm so sorry. Like y'all mommies is not touching mine. I'm so sorry. I mean that in the humblest way possible. Like. Shorty does my blood work 99.9% .9 of the time because my veins are impossible, like, and I don't have blood in my system, like, 
I'm an alien. But she gets it done. She gets to figure it out. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to the Mama Dukes. And it's my birthday today. It is my birthday. And she was like, the train is mad loud. She was like, happy birthday, princess. Like, 18. Like, you're so big or whatever. And I was like, happy birthday to you. Like, I didn't do nothing. I just popped out. That was all you. That was all you. Granted, God had a say. You know what I'm saying? My dad contributed. But that was all you. Like... Happy birthday to you. So, I'm gonna do a little cute something for her, whether it be like a car or like get her a cheesecake type shit. Like, I don't know. Like, like you did it like 18 years. Like, your contract is technically over. But we're African, so we don't do that shit over here. Like, shit is not over until you hand me to my husband. But then it's not over until ever. Like, you know, knock on wood, it's not over until one of us tap out because you're gonna be babysitting these grandkids. Like, act like you know. She's really like not trying to babysit her grandkids. Like, she's like, you don't even be taking my kids to school. I'm like, that's your kid. Your grandkids, you gonna spoil them. She be trying to act out, but look at me so. I feel like a mother. Like, I'll wake up in the night, like if I'm like tossing and turning and stuff, and be like me so. Dahlia and Dahlia like she not fluffy no more and I keep saying I'm gonna go to build a bear and like get her right because her back is also unstitched she's been through a lot you know a few cycles in the load because I watch myself animals I don't know that other people do that but she's been through a lot and I keep saying like I'm gonna take Shorty to build a bear and get her fixed up but I haven't and she look real stiff and she be you know like she's not the cuddle partner anymore I'm so sorry babe you grown now but me and me so be me me telling you like, I'm gonna dead go back to sleep until it's time to pray and then after prayer we're gonna do lunch brunch and then I'm gonna hop in my cute fit do my makeup take some pictures um I don't know I haven't been feeling pictures lately that's kind of crazy like I'm very like a video girl like do you know what I'm saying but I can't remember the lyrics to any song. So y'all gonna see me in the same three TikToks. And act like that's not the case. Like, be surprised every time. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm asking of you as my friends. She be like, oh, dang, she ain't that. Don't be like, girl, the same sound. Yes, yeah, the same sound. So, I got this girl's camera settings off of TikTok. Why is it crispy? Why is it crispy? Can you tell my lizard chaps? Don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything. Don't worry about it. But the videos are about to get crispier. I feel like YouTube has gotten so much more exciting for me in the last month. I think it's really just having time on my hands again to create and like do something fun that I enjoy. Like, I do enjoy learning new techniques techniques of shooting and editing and like writing descriptions and time steps and finding music i i live for this shit i'm not gonna hold you i was honestly thinking of also doing like you guys know how i love doing video essays and like i love doing my podcast but it's a lot of work and i feel like i don't really get to see the fruits of my labor so we're gonna put it on a private platform called sunroom which i'm gonna start up soon tell y'all about it but private platform called sunroom is kind of like What's the other one that everybody uses? It's kind of like Patreon, but this one is like, you know, geared towards women. It's geared towards non-binary people. And they're really like, they love the creators on that platform. And I like that a lot better than the other ones that I was looking at, to be honest, because it's gonna be a win-win for both of us. Like, they treat us nice on that side. So I'll see y'all there at some point. And I'll tell you guys more about it when I do get to create the content. We can talk about, like, the content y'all want to see from me. Because I do want to be vulnerable with you guys. And that platform also has, like... You see, like, how Netflix, so you can't like, screen record anything from Netflix. The platform has the same thing. So, like, we can get vulnerable on that side. And it's going to be between me and you, friend. Like, I'm excited. I'm ready to go to Shima Prayer. Ignore the nails. I already made voodoo. Look at the dress. The baze. The hijab. It's giving, it's giving, it's giving. I'm excited to go pray. I gotta pick a pair of shoes. I don't care if it gets stolen because people act like they don't have homes. Like, who raised you? 
I'm gonna see that the mosque. The mosque. Let me see. Yeah, I'm seeing my brother's slides. They could be sacrificed. Gym prayer went really well. I had a great time, which is crazy to say. Like I, I'm acting like I went to a party or went to dinner, but like I had a good time. I felt safe. The prayer was nice. You know, made dua, asked God for things. Was mad grateful. Like I made it to 18 years. This is wild to me. Like. Wow, if you knew me at 13, you know there was nothing in my brain being like, oh, I'll make it to 18 someday, like, at all. This is crazy to me. Afterwards, we went to the fish market and got seen salmon, broccoli, corn, shrimp. It was, it's so good. It's my favorite. I was asked for it. And we've kind of made it a birthday transition to, like, get that for me for my birthday, which I'm really excited. We picked up my cake. I went with Oreo. And then I got a small cheesecake to take pictures with. Um, in a little bit before everybody like starts getting back home and the house gets rowdy i'm gonna like do my makeup put on a fit and take my pictures because nobody knows how to take my pictures not quite yet. i feel like colette is the only one that's mastered it but i'm gonna do that which is really exciting and that's my 18th birthday like oh my god i'm 18 oh i fixed the nails update on the nails they're a little less crooked yeah, I should have seen me yesterday. It was hysterical. The nail was leaning. I just woke up from a nap that transcended me through time. I did everything but drool. Like, I feel so refreshed. It's crazy. I had one of the craziest dreams ever. Birthdays are so weird. Like, I'm 18. I'm about to do my makeup. I didn't even get a makeup inspo or nothing. Like, I don't even know if I want to go crazy on eyeshadow or not. Like, do I want to put my contacts on? Because it's already 9 p.m. Like, I think we're going to do no contacts. And I'm going to look on Pinterest for styles if I want to do an eyeshadow look. But I don't know. I don't know. Guys, I don't know. I be having everything planned for my birthday until the day of. Like, I know exactly what I want to do until it gets time to do it. Mommy's cooking because we couldn't go to the restaurant today. It rained up bad which just means i get an extra day of celebrations we're gonna be going on day three of celebrating the bad bitch i'm so excited um yeah i'm geeked geeked out geeked. i finished my makeup after we blow the soap good angle uh, <laughs> it's already at I'm gonna sing it. Seven Happy seconds. birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. The day is over. And look at my makeup. I feel like this makeup looks just like the longer it's on, the cuter it gets. Type of situation. Like the longer the mirror is, the, the, like the the better it gets into the skin. I don't know what to say. Like, granted, I haven't had it on for that long. And I'm starting to tan, so the colors are getting a little funky. But I love it. I had a great day, honestly. Can't believe I'm 18. It's like, it's crazy, but it's also like, duh, that's what happens when you live. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens when you live life. But I'm really grateful to God for getting me here. I'm gonna take my makeup off and go to sleep. It's like 3 in the morning. Or is this three in the morning? I'm obsessed with this look. I don't know if I made enough TikTok. Ooh, I missed one transition. I'll make it tomorrow since I'm getting ready to go to dinner tomorrow. This vlog I'm gonna end on. Yeah, because I have a video for next Friday. I'm gonna end it on next Friday. First of all, look what Alina got me. We got the milk primer, so I get to try it. Um, I was gonna get it till the end of the summer when I would actually be wearing makeup because like I don't know it's getting hot and a full face is just like it's stuffy and she got me this lip gloss situation that I'm obsessed with and I already want to wear so we're gonna take Fenty out the bag I was wearing future flex today I'm leaving my mom so she's rushing me Hold on, I need to wipe my lip or something. Do I not have paper towels in here? I'm sure I do. Yes. I'm gonna roll because 
no one's making glasses right now. And Dermot Tower is like my sidekick when I'm doing my makeup because like I like rub the brush on it. I saw a makeup artist doing it and I was like, that makes sense. I was like, they get the product. I'm talking in fragments. It gets the product off the brush. And then you can literally just. I should have lined my lips. I think I have bigger problems right now than lining my lips. I didn't get to go to the bank today, shit. Y'all ever been to a wedding and didn't know who was getting married? It's actually a rare occurrence as an African person to go to a wedding and know who is getting married. And today, somebody getting married and I'm here helping out just because before. When I agreed to come to an African wedding, I know I'm gonna be staff. Look at my nails. Gone. Gone. Hey, hey. I hope everyone knows the only time I ever look at myself is when I pull this camera out to try and vlog. Um, it's my second day here. I've been loving it. Last time I showered in the night, and I think that's gonna be my routine, honestly, because it's really nice. <laughs> I don't know where I am. I'm in the woods. I know you hear the birds. Chirp, chirp. Um, it's really nice. I think this camp is pretty special. Because of all the little features and gadgets and shit. Because, like, there's no wedding water in our cabin. Let me show you our cabin. Where's the front door? Non existent. Front door's non existent. But this is our cabin that I'm staying in right now. For orientation and staff training. I'm like staff. Like, you know when you come to camp and you're like the student? You're like the kid? I'm like literally going to be in charge of people's lives. I'm still... I don't know how that's possible. How? Hey, guys. Today is Friday, June 16th. I was listening to SFS and I was like, I should vlog to practice being with my thoughts. Because I'm not going to have my phone in a few days, but... I was listening to SOS. That's kind of been my vibe out here. Um, and I'm really happy for that because I'm gonna have like an album to be like, this was the beginning of the summer. Or, like this is my SOS summer or whatever. Um, SOS Spices, if you don't know. Um, I'm supposed to have a video go out tonight, which I haven't finished editing. So hopefully you see that because we're really trying to be consistent. The lighting is insane because there's a view every fucking way, every which way you look. Um, I'm on my way to the farm. I'm late because I had a really rough morning. Um, got some bad news, got some good news. Life rocks, life rules. Um, I've been making friends, talking to people. I'm happy that it's like a very social space and place. <gasps> stepped on it <laughs> I was like, ah. anyway i'm glad it's a very social space because you know at least there's people to talk to and like help express your emotions and shit like that but it's also like i want to talk to my friends from back home and i feel very disconnected right now so we'll see how i feel as the summer progresses i'm so glad i get to test run these days before the kids get here because there's no way I was gonna make it for six o'clock. It's usually 6.30, but this is our first six o'clock day. And I promise you, I don't know what short circuited in my brain. I did not do the math properly. My alarm didn't go off at the right time. I didn't set enough laying time for myself. And now I'm like rushing over there even though I'm late because I still wanna like show up. And then when the kids get here, I think I'm just gonna be more pumped and excited and like, the guilt of not giving them like the best summer camp experience is what's gonna really drive me to be the best camp counselor. Camp counselor. I was just camp person, and that's just a non-binary language that I've really picked up being here, which is kind of nice. 
um, which is really pretty nice. I think um, I love the theory of learning about like how to be inclusive and um, you know how to create diverse communities and stuff, but actually doing it in practice and like being here is really nice. <laughs> like I've gotten so good with pronouns. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I didn't know I could do that. But anyway, y'all not see the tough fit. The fit is kind of ridiculous, but I'm still out here. Hey, Patty. Say, my name is Banana. <laughs> Yo, what's up, big homie? How you doing, big homie? Hey, Pookie. Oh, okay. So. Say hello. What are you trying to do? You always trying to munch on something. <laughs> oh! Last night was Interdependence Day, um, which is a celebration where all the camps come together. And this morning, the boy camp pranked us. And now they're singing Good Morning by Kanye West. I was trying to sleep in. This is none of my business. It's none of my business, but now I gotta get up. Because they woke me up by singing Good Morning by Kanye. It's not a sad way to wake up. But it's a little annoying. Anyway, say hi to me, so. I gotta finish reading Wonder to my kids. I finished Bell Hooks. And I think that book down there is either. Do you have a radical woman one? Or. I lied, it's rabbits, which I did start. Um, but I just need to reread it because it starts a little crazy, in my humble opinion. Because I don't know nothing about Dungeons and Dragons. I can't believe I became a reader out here. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I'm going to get up and get ready and go to breakfast. Oh, what was the prank? Apparently, they put the tables on the floor. Which, it's a Quaker camp. The pranks need to be, like, calm. But that's a funny prank, in my opinion. I wanted my kids to prank me, like my campers. Y'all can hear that. It's so weird to hear male space, male voices in this space that is mostly like female and like non-binary. Well, exclusively, I think we have like two males here. So hearing a bunch of male voices, I was like, I woke up and I was like, ugh, where am I? Being in college is gonna be a hard transition coming from this place. And I'm not excited about that whatsoever. Everything is just ridiculously beautiful here. I'm walking to another camp right now. I'm on my day off. And I'm going to go see my friend who works at a different camp than me. And I'm really excited to see her. Um, it's just a long walk. And I should have given myself a head start. Because I have some things to do tonight. But I didn't do it. So now I have to deal with the consequences of my actions. I might start running. Um, who fucking knows. But look how pretty. <laughs> Like, the fact that I wake up to this shit every day is ridiculous. Like, this is Oni, but better. This is Oni, but like, oh my god, nice. I like the balance of Oni, though. But this is like, true commune lifestyle. Like, composting, and like, solar panels, and like, I don't know. No paper towels. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, my best sustainable life. And it's pretty great. I like to sit talking a little bit, but it's good. The intro. The intro. I didn't pick up the camera all day, but hi guys. Hey guys. Good morning, guys. Hi guys, welcome here. Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome or well, welcome back to this channel. My name is Salamata. This is Salamata speaking. Like, comment, and subscribe.